sport climbing has seen a steady rise in participation since the Tokyo Olympics. Many new climbers flock to places like City Rock in Johannesburg to take up the sport. But for Lauren McIver, her passion for sport climbing began when she was eight years old and has shaped her into the person she is today. It is my life. I've been climbing for <laughs> more than 50% of my life and I, it keeps me sane. It really does. Months without climbing is like torture to me. I have always used it as an outlet. My endorphins are just so high when I come to the gym. I have family, I have friends here. The 22-year-old qualified for the Olympic Games in Paris by winning the combined competition in Pretoria in December, which involves climbers competing in the boulder and lead categories. Makaiba won't be competing in the speed category, which is all about getting to the top of the wall the fastest, and instead will be focusing on her two main disciplines. The main difference between boulder and lead is that lead is tall walls, so you've got a 16-meter wall. The, the route is out of 100 points, and for boulder, you have four boulders. They're each worth 25 points, and those points get combined at the end of your boulder and lead round to make a score out of 200, and that determines your placing. The three-time African champion will graduate with a degree in marine biology from the University of Western Australia next month and she plans to stay in Perth while preparing for the Olympic Games. Makaiba, though, believes South Africa is slowly showing signs of catching up to other countries. I'd like to see clubs being more immersed in good setting and good sporting practices and teaching kids how to be good sportsmanship, especially in you know this day and age with technology and all the rest of it. I'd love to, there to be more gyms and more setting workshops, I think, that the growth of this climbing community has a really long way to go, but it's making baby steps, and I think that's really important. Lauren McIver hopes that her Olympic qualification inspires a new generation of aspiring rock climbers to pursue higher honors in the sport. Unfortunately, with only a handful of facilities like this and limited coaching options in Africa, there's still a long way to go to produce a sustainable talent pipeline. But with that said, Makaiba and the three other representatives heading to Paris will be out to do the continent proud and show talented climbers that there are no limits as to what heights they can scale in future. CS2 plus C, CGTN, Johannesburg.